All right, so now we've got two different algorithms, naive and Russian, that can both be used to multiply numbers together. Who's better? Well, how are we going to figure that out? Depends what matters to us. It could be that you want the program to be really easily read, in which case naive is probably easier than Russian. But it could also depend on speed, which one gives you the answer that you want fastest. So how can we find out which one is faster? For starters, we can do some plotting again. So let's do that. So I wanted to show you a plot of the running time of Russian for a range of different values for squaring. So Russian of n, n for lots of different values of n. But the plot was really uninteresting. And the reason was that I just couldn't for the life of me get it to take more than two milliseconds to multiply two numbers together. I used numbers as big as two to the 1,000, which is a very, very big number. And it returns instantaneously. After numbers get much bigger than this, the plotting routine gets very confused because it doesn't know how to deal with numbers this large. Whereas for, shall we say, only two to the 23rd, naive was taking already three seconds, which is a lot longer. So there's a huge difference between the running times of these algorithms.